Hi everyone, my name is Olivia and I'm a senior in the equine management program at UNH. Today our group is going to be giving you a presentation about driving. Driving can be used in a lot of different breeds and a lot of different disciplines, but specifically today we'll be talking about driving within the Morgan breed, the saddlebred breed, and also some combined driving and also things you can do with your horse at home. We would also like to give a special thanks to the trainers at Highgate Stables and Taylor River Farm who have made all of this possible. So stay tuned and we hope you enjoy our video. Thanks. I'm going to show you the basics of putting on a harness. First we're going to start, this is the back pad, this is a back strap, and this is called the crupper which goes underneath the horse's tail. This is a breastplate which they will be pulling from. So first when setting a back pad, lay the harness over the horse, come to the bottom of the wiggle, and that's where the back pad will set. You do not want it sitting up here because it's just going to bruise them and make sores. So you set it on the back and right at the bottom of the wiggle come. So once you sit there, you can go ahead and just set. Do not tighten, just kind of secure the girl so it doesn't slide around and just let it set. So you can maneuver and work the back strap. So you bring it across and once you want to set the crupper, you will go ahead, you will have to Lift the tail, take the palm of your hand, and put it under the tail to secure the tail so it's comfortable. Once you have the tail where he's comfortable and not straining against it, you slide it underneath comfortably, put the crupper in place, and then place the tail down. Do not just let it go so they snap and like surprise themselves. Once you have it in place, you connect it, and then you can adjust your back. So I would take it, so then you tighten it up to a point, again, where it's setting on his back, and this is not real tight, it has some play in it, but it is not going to be sitting real low, and yet it's not pulling up hard on his tail. So once that's secure, then you can tighten your girth. Driving harnesses, I do not tighten the girth real tight because they're gonna balance on the shafts. Next, you take the breastplate, and the breastplate basically goes around. I happen to have a string because this is a work harness, so we connect the breastplate through that string to keep it back. And when setting up breast, some call them, they're not breast collars, the collar literally goes around the neck like this. This is a breastplate. You basically would like it, you would not want it low sitting on the shoulder because once they're moving back and forth, it would be a rub. This little spot at the base of their neck, right here, that groove, you would want it to sit comfortably in there so they can push against it without bothering their shoulders and move freely. The next step we have no pause. would be the martingale. We use the martingale and this basically so you have more control of the front end and can engage uh, how you would like their headset to be. Just like if you were riding, you can adjust the martingale many different lengths to where you want to position the horse's head and neck. So again, this is a work harness. It's a quick hitch. So everything's with snaps, so we can come right along with the snaps. So just kind of relax down the front. This happens to go to the back breast, like other show harnesses and other harnesses would do. And then you can adjust accordingly of how high or low you want this martingale. Then if you would want to set the reins, uh, the next thing, and, um, there's 
these are basic um, straight reins. So they would go, even though this harness has many different uh, reins, uh, we, for regular driving, you would use the top rein. And then through the martingale, and from there, it would go to the bit once he's brought. Now, once for bridling, there's a couple different bridles that we can use. Uh, this, uh, you would have to put the cavison on, a regular cavison like if you were riding. And then this is a side check bridle. Notice um, this uh, check controls how high you would want to head to be or low. And this connects to the, comes down the side of, of his head and to the bit. So if he goes, pulls on it too much against the string, this will pull the bit up. So it just controls his head whichever way you want from that one bit, okay? And then the other side, other uh, check you could use, this is an over check. This, as you see, can come down through the center of his head, and it's another bit. It's a second bit that comes directly down into the mouth, and this will control the pressure going this way. So this is to balance his head up higher. That's what we use with the show horses. So this piece will just come back and hook to the middle ring right here. And then we can control the height of his neck, where we want it, and then the position of his nose through an overcheck. Overchecks are used from all the show horses, um, in pleasure classes, uh, pleasure driving classes, classic driving, park harness. Uh, the side check can be used, but most of the time, if it's only used at the college, if they even use the check, very few actually do much showing in the side check bridle, but it's a good exercise at home. Basically, we drive these courses because it's a great way to exercise them. It's like cross training. Instead of riding every day, they get to drive and some days and ride other days, and it's a, a different uh, way to work their muscles. They have to um, work their hind ends differently. They have to balance themselves differently, and it also helps them stop getting bored from doing one thing at one all at once, but also use more muscle groups instead of one thing over and over so they have the best, better muscling throughout the whole animal. Hi everybody, I'm Jackie Gotchi. I'm a senior at UNH, majoring in equine studies with a concentration in industry and management. In this part of our presentation, we're going to be talking about saddlebreds and driving. We've already seen how to tack up a horse for driving and we've discussed Morgans and their divisions that they show in. Saddlebreds show in different divisions than Morgans, so saddlebreds show in fine harness, show pleasure, and country pleasure driving. Here are some clips of horses driving during their workout to Highgate Stables. Although this part of the presentation is talking about saddlebreds and their different divisions that they show in, there are Morgan horses that we see in these clips being worked out. In this first clip, we see a horse longlining. Longlining can be used to teach a horse the beginning steps of driving. Horses are equipped with blinkers, a surcingle, a crupper, a martingale, and eventually other equipment that simulates the feeling of a cart behind them. For example, PVC piping can be used for this. There are various ways in which trainers break horses to drive, but longlining is the first step in achieving this goal.
If a horse canters in a driving class, it is penalized. However, it is still practiced in the long lines. We have already discussed the three main divisions that saddlebirds are shown in. Country pleasure and show pleasure driving are the most similar of these divisions. In pleasure classes, judges are looking for manners in the horse. Horses must stand in line without fidgeting and flat foot walk. Horses in pleasure driving classes also wear different equipment than in fine harness driving. Pleasure driving horses wear a rolled crupper, while fine harness horses wear a high tail crupper. The main differences of country pleasure and show pleasure driving are the shoeing requirements. Additionally, country pleasure driving horses must halt on the rail and stand. In fine harness driving, horses do not walk. Instead, they trot and exhibit a park trot. A park trot is a high action trot that requires increased utilization of the knee and greater utilization of the shoulder for extension. Ideally, a slow motion up and down stride is what fine harness horses should exhibit. Additionally, fine harness horses do not have to be as mannerly as pleasure driving horses.